They want to be their own form of dissent because they see us as legitimate. That's very mature. <laughs> Is liberty dying where you live? Escape to Keen at freekeen.com. What you got set up here, man? We got tacos over here. We got the meat and we got cheese. And uh, for those of us who are vegan and not interested in meat, we have uh, pasta, I believe it's called rigatoni, and marinara sauce, so there's no animal products in that. Yeah, we got extra cheese, we got extra marinara, we got extra beef. So if people come, we eat all this, we'll be able to keep eating. And uh, it's good to see so many people are down here. This is the People's Barbecue. It's the anniversary of the city's lawsuit against us. Is that right? Yeah, this is the day we were served. <laughs> May Day was the day they actually signed the paperwork. But all right. Today was the day that the Sheriff's Department came around and gave us all the important paperwork. Awesome. You want sour cream? Groovy. Thanks. All these wonderful products of capitalism. <laughs> uh, that's what Robin Hood's about, you know, making the best out of our time and resources. And it's good to have barbecues in Central Square. It's better than nothing going on out here. And uh, everybody loves food. And I know I like making food, so bring what, us together. What do you say to the critics who are saying you're not actually barbecuing anything? Well, I suppose it could be said that since we're not using a charcoal grill, it's not technically barbecuing, or since we don't have a propane grill, but we do have a grill with us, we do have charcoal with us, if need be, it can be busted out, but right now it's just not necessary. You guys going to offer some tacos? Hi everybody! Hello neighbors! Hello, fellow members of the community. I was free before Free Keen. Wow. They don't want food. I'll take it. You want to see what Freedom tasted like. Well, I'm glad that everyone is gathered here. I really appreciate the support for the barbecue. Oh, I see an Emerson's Towing and Repair shirt. It's good to have their support as well. Let's go. Call the truck. I don't have a fucking gun. Okay, I don't have a no one said you had a gun. I will the next somebody, somebody. Time. You will the next time? Excuse me, sir? Is that, is that a death threat? Emerson, There's no camera in your face. face. There's no camera in your get face. Out of my face. Get away from me. Get Jesus the fuck away from me. Christ, dude. Well, we've got a lot of great food up in the gazebo. Not only do we have tacos, but for people who aren't into eating meat or maybe vegan, we have pasta with marinara sauce. Um, some people brought some candy and some mozzarella sticks. And uh, we've got water up there. So if anybody wants to join in, help yourselves. And I'm very glad that you've all have come down. And I'm sure you all know me. I'm Garrett. You can spot my hair pretty easily. I can dig the silence. It's kind of traditional, kind of like religious. It reminds me of church. <laughs> if nobody wants this particular taco, I'll be eating it. They're seriously delicious. <laughs> These are really good tacos. I mean, there's. Honestly, how many Mexican places are there in Keene? But is there one that makes any good Mexican food? Seriously, does anyone know of a good Mexican place in Keene? They're alright. Yeah, <laughs> They're alright. <laughs> is there anybody here that considers themselves in charge? Or is there a central committee of Stop Free Keene? I mean, who's on the central committee of Stop Free Keene? Is it an anarchist organization? That's what it is, isn't it? I see the uniform actions of everybody. It's it's clear that it's anarchist. Nobody's in charge. That's, that's uh, not anarchy, that's chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Do different people have different titles maybe? Like if you're an elder, if you've been stopping Free Keen for longer? I would love to have some sort of communication with Stop Free Keen, but I'm banned from the group and I'm not allowed in. So. It doesn't enable me to have communication with my neighbors. It seems that some of my neighbors calling themselves, in all caps with three exclamation points, Stop Free Keen, are the types of people who would want to be exclusive of others. Not letting differing viewpoints in, allowing viewpoints that are threatening, derogatory, sexually explicit. I mean, I realize recently you've been removing such posts, but not advertising to the public the fact that they're there and they're prevalent. I mean, how many people in the community need to be threatened by members of Stop Free Keen before one person in Stop Free Keen is going to stand up and say, that's inappropriate? How did you guys respond when Graham Colson was threatened by somebody? How did you guys respond when myself was threatened by somebody named Travis Hobbs? How did you all respond when there was a man on the internet claiming he was going to kick my ass in a YouTube video and was also saying his wife was saying that they were going to get a Mosin 
If you're unfamiliar with that, that's a sniper rifle. Another one of your members named Bob Lance. Do any of you know him? He posted a picture of me with a laser sight on my head. Doesn't that disturb you? How would any of you feel if you had a picture of yourself posted on the internet with a laser sight on your head? That's disturbing. In a firearm right below it. Yes, in a picture of a firearm with a laser sight on it. I what does that say about your group? What does that say about your organization? And how does your lack of a response to that sort of thing say about all of you? Bob Liz can also be quoted as saying, I'm willing to be a martyr for the cause. I mean, I just like to think that there's a few sane people in that group, but I fail to see any response. It seems like it's coming from outside of that group whenever there's any critical thinking about what's going on in there. Does anyone have comment on that? Does anyone say, no, I don't stand for threatening people? That I'm against threatening people? <laughs> or is everyone just complacent with that? Because that's what I see here is complacency. And it seems like it's blinded by a number of things. Maybe it's blinded by a dislike of others' opinions or religious beliefs. But if we want to progress as a community, we've got to grow beyond that. But it's evident that where is that sort of mentality going to spring from? Where is it going to grow out of? It's going to grow out of the type of people who are so closed-minded that they can't even have a conversation with those whom they disagree with. They just want to form into an echo chamber on the internet with them. Well, not with the people they disagree with, with the they agree with. They don't allow dissent. They're the, uh, I guess you could say that they, they want to be their own form of dissent because they see us as legitimate. That's very mature. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate that Stop Free Keen has tried to set itself up as the primary form of dissent against Free Keen. Free Keen is an organization that has struck chords here in Keen. It's struck chords nationally and internationally. It's making a difference the world over. And it's wonderful, it's, it's an achievement that such an organization, or not even an organization, a decentralized group, has caused a secondary group to rise up uh, in response to it. It, at the end of the day, everything is still framed under the guise of Free Keen, whether it's Free Keen itself or Stop Free Keen, in all caps and with three exclamation points. But of course, who are the rational ones? Are it the ones using all caps and three exclamation points? Or is it people that speak their minds clearly and speak openly and truthfully? Oh, that's awesome, Gene's film. Communication is important. Dialogue is important. But when you close yourself off and you don't allow there to be dialogue with other people, what does that say about your view of the humanity of others? What does that say about your respect for others' opinions? Being unwilling to engage in a dialogue? What we get here is silence. I've heard things said about cult-like behavior. <laughs> neighbors that can't communicate with other neighbors because they're in an exclusive group? I'm seeing cult-like behavior. Is there anybody with their own opinion? Is there anyone with independent thoughts? Or is it all lockstep? Everything that goes on on Free Keen is A-OK, -okay, or Stop Free Keen is A-OK. -okay. Everything's chipper. This is the status quo, standing in, in Central Square, holding signs, protesting a barbecue. Over there is there any the feedback that can be received one way or another? <laughs> <laughs> Would any of you guys be interested in bullying? <laughs> is nobody willing to talk because they're afraid they'll get into an argument? I mean, people can just talk like neighbors. Like, talking is how your brain, like, dialogue with others is how your brain formulates different ideas. If people close themselves off from others and don't interact with others, I mean, what does that do to their own mindset? Like, what does that, that make them think about themselves? It's going to breed a false sense of confidence. There's a reason Republicans only hang out with Republicans, and Democrats tend to only hang out with Democrats, and Stop Free Keen only <laughs> tends to hang out with Stop Free Keen. Uh, the division is unnecessary, but if you guys choose to, like, live a division, I don't know, I think that's rather ridiculous. 
other people here, I mean, I wouldn't say everyone's associated with stuff with preteen, but like we're all doing our own thing. We're not standing in a, a designated spot. I mean, you guys all look like an army right now, to be honest. Do you want to live in a more regimented community? Do you want to live in a place where there's more rules and things for you to follow? I mean, it seems like this was pretty strict that you guys have it set up here today. Did you agree? Did, was there a rule, no talking? Or was that something you all came to through consensus? Is there anyone that doesn't agree with the no talking rule? I would never voluntarily put myself into a position where I wasn't communicating my ideas unless there was some sort of threat uh, over me where I couldn't communicate my ideas. Especially at a protest. So I'm wondering why it is that everyone's choosing to be silent. What is it? What is the purpose of that? So does anybody here do anything for the community, like akin to what Robin Hooding is, where we try and save people from getting tickets? Where we pay people's meters for them so that with five cents or 10 cents or 20 cents, we can save them from $5 or $10 or $20 in fines? Does anyone have any feedback for a better idea, maybe a better approach? Do they have uh, an alternative to offer? Is it everything Freakeen does that most of you guys don't like? Is it some things? Is it the articles on the internet? Is it the videos? Is it our videography style? I mean, I'd love to know specific things. I'd love to get direct feedback. But what I tend to just, when reading Stop Free Key, a page I'm not allowed to comment on, all I really get is negativity. I don't really see anybody presenting alternatives. I don't see people presenting ideas for how to counter this other than Let's gather in Central Square and hold signs, which is great. I'm glad you guys are all here. But there's, I mean, really, is, is, this, uh, is this it? Get us. Is this going to accomplish anything? People stand in Central Square for hours every day holding anti-war signs, and the wars still go on. Are any of you working to end the wars in any way? Do any of you support the wars? Are any of you against the wars? Do all of you subscribe to similar political ideologies, or are you from different political ideologies? Are you from similar or different religious ideologies? Are you all Christian? Are any of you atheists? I would doubt that there's atheists among you, because I'd be honestly surprised to see atheists standing around silently. Usually they're very outspoken. We got some chalk with us. If anyone has any messages they want to express, chalk is a wonderful medium. Do they have to stay as long as we're here? Uh, they came out If they late, leave early, so then they, they stop late, stopping us. Like, I can say that we have food and we'll let you talk. <laughs> you can say whatever you want if you just defect. I mean, if you think about it, we're taking video right now, like people are, and, you know, later on we can share these ideas and everything that was talked about with anybody. But for like the hours you guys are standing here, since you're not communicating, it's like the only message you ever get out there is your sign and silence. Don't you guys want to express more than just your sign and silence? I mean, there's probably such a diversity of ideas and a diversity of tactics and interests that you guys could have if you weren't acting in such a collective manner. Um, it's very similar to the communists in the 1950s and like the lockstep. I see that that same sort of model is being followed by Stop Free Keen, three exclamation points. Um, it's sort of making lockstep internal secretive decisions rather than just being open and public about everything that everyone's doing. But it's really sad uh, and really unfortunate. And I think it says bad things about the native population here in Keene and especially the extent to which there has been xenophobia exhibited against people coming from elsewhere. I've even experienced this, and I'm not even really from elsewhere. I'm from Concord, that's not far away. But there's this mentality that other people are invaders, that other people are different, that other people are just others, and that they're not welcome. Which is why I think it's important that all people feel welcome. That's one of the reasons there's a barbecue here today, is so that anybody who wants can come down and get food. Anybody, as long as they're peaceful, and a respectful member of the community. I hope that Stop Free Keen isn't the sort of group that is so against other people coming here that they would also be against people immigrating here to Keen. 
it seems that there's this idea that people have to have a certain idea before they're allowed to come here to Keene. Or at least that's the understanding that I get from Stop Free Keene and some of the statements of members. Is there an anti-immigrant mentality among Stop Free Keene? I'm curious. It doesn't seem to be much of a people's movement. Is it for all people? Or is it just for the people who have some sort of claim here, like how long you were born here, or some other insignificant idea? I grew up here, spent my whole life here. I mean, it doesn't really matter where you're from. Does it matter anywhere? Is there nationalism in Stop Free Keen? Is that the idea? Is it federal government nationalism? Is it New Hampshire nationalism? I mean, these are all great questions. It would be nice if somebody could answer them. Or are you guys still at the thinking starting point on these things? Nothing to express. It's crazy. But doing something takes thought and action. So anyway, which Paul has an appeal right now? Is this going to win anything? Is this going to accomplish anything? Hey, Are thanks for coming out, guys. It, it really says something that no one is willing to talk. If your cause is so just, why won't you talk to us? Defend it. I mean, you, we may have our disagreements, and I'm fine with disagreements, but you guys should be able to have a discussion with us. If your cause is so just and moral, please come talk to us. You guys should want to get your message out, just like we want to get our message out. And anybody that believes in socialism shouldn't shop at Walmart, just saying. <laughs> anybody care for an interview, would love to talk to somebody, get you on YouTube, let you spread whatever this message is of stopping whatever it is you want to stop. Hi, Kay. There's still free tacos available. Whose idea was it to keep silent? Was it Josh? You can tell me in my, my ear. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a Secret there. secrets yeah. are no fun. I don't know whose alias that is. Bye now. Jeez. Back on the awesome oh, Somebody Eagles. communicated. Bye. She talked. She communicated with us. Go Together home. we can. Stop. Stand her. Free key. Stand her. She talked to us. Well, that's it. I guess I'm calling it quits. The Free State Project is over. Bunch of fucking slaves fighting the other slaves. We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.